Hey everybody, we're back. A dinosaur story. How about that? Okay, dude, we gotta do something. We gotta do something with Tainted Apollyon, okay? I don't know if we've done a Tainted Apollyon run on YouTube yet. Q047NZVP. Okay. Um, I mean, we haven't done Mega Satan, so we have to take this. In my world, that's an instant snap, keep, pack one, pick one. How does Tainted Apollyon work? You might be asking yourself. If if so, I applaud your curiosity. A lot of people go through life, they see something they don't understand, and they just go, not worth knowing, you know? Not not you, not you. And to that, I, I okay, what am I talking about? Anyway, so how does it work? It's very simple. Uh, that's a ripoff, and I hate it. Um, the Abyss item is basically very similar to Void. Void, of course, you'll remember, was a spacebar item as a Polyon that if you use it on an active item pedestal, it rolls that item's effect into its own effect. Therefore, you could create a ridiculous, you know, super spacebar item that has an, you know, I'm not going to say an infinite, but a staggering amount of possible uh, utilities, right? Uh, this is similar, except it turns your item pedestals into a, another attack fly every time you use it. So I think in practice and in principle, you know, there's a couple of different ways you could run this. You could just try to create the largest amount of flies possible, or you could do the way that I'm going to uh, try to do it here, which is um, you turn bad items into flies and good items, you just keep them and use them. I mean, Dad's key is kind of an exception. It's not necessarily a good item. Oh, that was not my not my finest. Um, I'm, yes, I'm aware of the fact, by the way, that you can use it, of course, to... Um, get to secret rooms and shops and item rooms for free, blah, blah, blah. It's not terrible, and we have no other spacebar item at offer right now, or to offer, I should say, but um, otherwise, it, it's probably a good candidate for turning into some extra damage. But for now, I think, you know, you see something good, you gotta grab it. You see something bad, you, you gotta send it to the yeet sphere. Really, like, by, by process of elimination, I think we can derive that our second secret room is way the heck back there. So I've done a couple of Tainted Apollyon runs um, before, and they were uh, bad, really bad. But chat got on my case. Usually that means that they're right. And what we should have done, is what I was doing, is just like, haha, flies go burr. What we should have done is probably more like, you know, what I'm describing. Turn bad items into flies, and and good items. Let them let them ride, you know. Now I am also like, dude, you know what? We haven't done alt path, and the alt path is mighty tempting. I might add, mighty tempting. Why? Well, because first off, I don't even think we're gonna have to pay a key to open it right now. But then secondarily, um. We can create double the flies from each pedestal, or from each item room, I should say. Now we got to not die, and this run is kind of stinky right now. <laughs> but, like, any character that has a, a special ability that can be used on pedestals, or, or on item rooms for that matter, like Jacob and Esau, um, they, they're, they're interesting, right? So that's definitely an item, you know, a single speed upgrade. I say not that interested, and let's just give it a try, man. So I do believe, by the way, that our flies scale with items, or uh, with damage. I also, uh, dude, was there a sacrifice room on that floor? I gotta, I, I simply ask for your mercy. You know, it, sacrifice rooms for a long time were more or less useless. Or, <laughs> you gotta be careful, they got a lot of fans out there. Um, I'll suck these up. We don't know what they are. I'd rather have them be guaranteed. So two birds in the hand is definitely worth one in the bush. And we, we screwed up our deal with the devil, but yeah, welcome to the alt path. That's how it goes. Join the club. It's called Everybody. It meets at the bar. <laughs> oh, you hate... Isn't that what... That's an old joke. Oh, you hate your job? Join the club. It's called uh, Everyone. It meets at the bar.
healthy attitude. Anyway, um, we could have bought a spirit art to help, I suppose, but... What the, what the frick was I talking about? Oh, yeah, self-sacrifice rooms, which um, we're going to call Eddie rooms from now on. Um, excuse me, really? So you just you just hate uh, fun? Is that it? That that's the answer then? So my my whole game plan to get two flies has fallen by the wayside because we turned two item pedestals into a single fly. Um, that's that's one of them that just sort of it just sort of grinds your gears, you know? Because you're like we we almost had a, a a fun moment. What would the fun moment have granted us? Literally, we would have gotten um, one extra fly, which is worth approximately slightly more than zero. <laughs> and everybody would have smiled and said that was cool. Uh, and instead, now, I hate it. <laughs> anyway, I will say I'm not the expert when it comes to self-sacrifice rooms here. I, I just want to... I know it's like on the seventh play, that's like the big one. Look look to the west on the seventh day for the riders of the of Rohan. Um, you know, I don't mind this. Obviously, the blue candle is better. If Would you like to do a Windows update? Dismiss. I would not like to do... A, not right now, man. Why don't you just... I, bro, you're on all night. Why don't you just Windows update at like 4 a.m.? Come on, Bill Gates. You're inventing toilets that don't even need water to flush? You can't figure out if there hasn't been a key press in six hours? Uh, you know, do a Windows update? I'm, come on, dude. I mean, I know Bill Gates isn't the CEO of Microsoft anymore, but... That's why I wanted it. Okay. So again, I think it's important to note, it's not really that I want to get rid of the candle when we could quite frankly use the damage and instead hold on to, um, you know, Dad's Key, but it is that Dad's Key gives us the opportunity to do Mega Satan. We might pursue the Angel Deal path to begin with, but I don't know, maybe we should at least walk into it. Like, the thing is, I, I think if you walk into the deal with the devil, the next deal that you get has a 50-50 chance to be either angel deal or devil deal. Which is fine, for the record. If you don't walk into the deal, then I believe it's a 100% chance that it's an angel deal, which is also really good. I knew it was coming too. I, I really tried to get out of the way, but life had other plans. Okay, that one, I... It's just... Honestly, completely my own fault. This boss is like really either you you crush it or you're you're in pretty tight. I guess that's like a, a cyclical reasoning, but <laughs> no fear, no fear. <laughs> Saved. Okay. I mean, obviously we'll we pretty much have to take. That's that's mighty nice. You ever think about how funny it is that, like, the era where you wear clothes that say no fear, like, in fourth grade, is when you're scared of, like, the dumbest things on the planet? And I, on the planet, I mean, like, the boogeyman. <laughs> I was, after I saw Independence Day and also any other movie from my childhood um, that had aliens in it, I was just paranoid that there, that there was going to be an alien invasion. Now, to be fair, if there were an alien invasion... We would be freaking screwed, man. We would be toasted. Um, sure, why not? I extremely appreciative. But that's one of those fears. I think you can kind of chill on it a little bit, right? Like, it's not... Uh, I'm not going to say it's not plausible, but it's one of those things it's not even worth being afraid of, I guess, because what can you do about it? Meanwhile, I was going to third grade wearing a shirt that said no fear, and I was like, oh man, Dad, did, remember in, when, when Brett Spiner is interrogating the UFO, and the UFO says, or the, the alien says, no peace, no peace. Oh man, that's scary.
Anyway, that's all I got um, for today. Lots of lots of these demon judgments here. Dude, this is a great choice. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Um, also allows us theoretically in the future to actually be able to continue on the alt path. Because we might have the HP necessary to make it so. Now, is it, this run is not great just yet, but it has potential. Definitely that is the secret room right below us. You know, we got a good amount of flies. We get, those demon judgments are are actually mighty playable. And we should do it before we're, we're going to get this deal with the devil, which is now... Oh, what the heck, dude? No! Not like this! Not like this! Oh my god, it's just... I, I had such an unbelievable amount of speed right off the bat because of the way that that room worked. Okay, so let's not worry about the, the, the demon judgments yet. Or the deal with the devil, for that matter. We'll, we'll get it eventually, thanks to the relic, one way or the other. But but for now, it's not the. It's, this is not the way, dude. I'm upset. Um, keep in mind, we gotta get the knife piece here. That's gonna be our second secret room. Alt path is a. It's a real son of a gun. I guess, guess I'll die. We lived. Oh my god. Are you are you actually like kidding me? This is one of the most insulting... Uh, well, at least we don't have to go back for HP, I guess. It's one of the most insulting second secret rooms I've ever seen in my life. The 90% chance to die to explosive diarrhea followed immediately by uh, a health downgrade is just a slap in the face. I'm pretty thankful, I guess, that we didn't even get the... Uh, the deal with the devil, and I think I have to acknowledge that if we take the alt path, we're gonna lose. So, um... Also, I've had the relic for 20 rooms, and we have received no spirit hearts. Okay, now we have received one spirit heart. Um, remember, you can't... Oh, well, you can blow up the demon judgments, but they're only gonna give you, um... Garbage? I'm gonna be a smart guy, okay? So how does one be a smart guy? Check this out. You, you take the glowing hourglass, and then you suck up the glowing hourglass. And then, you buy this. It charged the wrong item, and I'm stupid, but just work with me. Then, you're going to become the lost. And this is like, I, I genuinely, this is me being upset. Like, I'm, I'm taking it out on the game. We're going to become the Lost, and assuming we don't die, um, we're going to use Abyss to suck up the knife handle, and then we're going to try to accomplish something on the normal path. Again, this is this is anger. This is... <laughs> I'm, I'm simply uh, upset. I don't know if this... I, I don't think the secret rooms can have anything here. But we might as well, dude, they might have some money. Don't make me fight the boss. Like, that's my one condition here, is like, if you make me fight the boss, I'm gonna be very perturbed. Although, honestly, like, we have a pretty good chance to actually get something from the boss that will work for us. But now, like, the, the, the devilish aspect of the game is now coming to pass. You know, they're like, hey, you could easily beat the boss. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. And then I'm like, okay, let's do the alt path then. <laughs> and I'm, a, you know, I'm a fool. Basically, I'm, I'm stupid. You know, I, I, I could take my chips. I, I could know when to hold them and know when to fold them. And instead, I'm like, nah, dude. This is, this is alt path worthy. It's not, by the way. Um, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I really am gonna try. Now I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm pot committed at, at, for some reason now. Um. Let's go, uh, let's go pick up the knife handle. Because, uh, I'm a fool. And now I've got spirit hearts, and I'm like, what was I scared of in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> Dying, I guess. Um, dude, I, I gotta try, and again, we've been very, very rude to our donation machine lately. We gotta save two bombs. Um, which is gonna be possible. I wanna see if BFF makes the flies bigger. It doesn't. Okay. 
You could come up with a reason why it would, you could come up with a reason why it wouldn't, you know? Why wouldn't it? Well, because they're flies, they're not uh, familiars. Uh, why would it? Because they're familiars, not flies. Duh. I'm uh, very stupid as well, because we can just use dad's key, we don't need the bombs. Okay. So, I mean, I don't... Times have changed. <laughs> We, we keep going uh, going through it in the pluses, we keep going through it in the minuses, dude, but... I'm not feeling like this run is too bad anymore. Now I'm looking at my flies and I'm like, maybe they freaking did double in size? Okay, not, not a trinket you want to see, because it's, uh, I think, the word people use is useless. But this is a run, you know, I, I, and if I'm thinking about a polyon on like an operations level, or tainted a polyon, I should say, thank you. Um, and let's well, let's not immediately pay it forward. Let's see if the secret room's here. It's obviously not. Um, but there's a library? My word? You definitely just do it like this. It, this sucks, by the way. I hate that, um... Ace of Class, really good. I hate that we're going to uh, not be able to take these because we want to take Dad's Key. Um, but we do at least get Bookworm, essentially for nothing. And I'm not even going to use Satanic... I'm going to use Satanic Bible. But only the, the one time. Not even for the rest of this floor. Because um, I, I, at first I was like, we don't want to deal with the devil. And then I thought to myself, now nah, we do. Um, let me rephrase. We want to pay for our boss item. Only because we have the spirit arts necessary to, um, to sustain what we're doing right now. So the Ace of Clubs, mighty nice. Might as well take a look. Health up. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, now we're super talking. <laughs> Not sure if one can super talk, but... We, we got a, a pretty sizable advantage there. Okay, that's your Ace of Clubs room for certain. And all of a sudden... This run's kind of doing something, man. This run's got me feeling a certain sort of way. Relic's doing good work for us. I'm starting to see the value here. Um, well, there's, I was going to say there's an obvious play. And then... I'm going to level with you, okay? Demon Baby, pretty good. But at this point... I, I think there's like a, almost a, a heuristic you can use. Um, you know, like like an intellectual shortcut for decision making. What is it? Well, it was a complete waste of hanged man, by the way. But steam sale, we love it, and we will pay for this. But um, I mean, I I would say personally, the the heuristic is, what's worth more? A fly with your damage or an item? And that's you know, I guess self evident. But I hadn't thought about it. I'd, I've been instead asking a related question, which is. Is this item good or bad? That's not how this room works, by the way. Um, and uh, I, I think we gotta ask, especially for damage dealing items. You know, I, I, I think you can almost just do, do a little mental arithmetic. This, 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 etc. Halloween. Dum, 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 dum. Halloween. Dude, by the way, why am I not going back and abyssing those books? At the very least, it should give us one book. One fly, I mean. You know what I'm saying, man. You know what I'm saying. Okay, get the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Hack the bone. Hack the bone. Run for your life. Um, she's a man-eater. Oh, here she comes. Oh, watch out, Tainted Apollyon, she'll chew you up! Oh, here she comes. She's a bomb eater. We uh, we do not have a guppy item yet, but still. Okay, do, okay hold up. <laughs> That's pretty good, we've been getting a lot of money. I'm willing, I'm willing to pay, I'm willing to pay. And you know what? I'm not willing to pay. I honestly think we leave that behind. I romance the thought of leaving it all behind. Kanye, step away from the limelight like when I was on the grind in the 1999. That's right. I'm. Well, no, I would not describe myself as wavy. I am. Uh, you know, simply as. 
I was made a fan of late registration, thanks to the John Bryan on the keys right now, and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm willing to look, dude, because, like, this is a, a, a potentially kind of special run here. That's a lot of flies. That's, that's more than I thought we would get. So, I'm also gonna um, explore, because now we have, like... Might as well look, right? We got a great ability. Well, first off, we want to do... Pardon me, as many rooms as possible, just to get to um, as many relic charges as possible. But then every single penny that we pick up is not just a damage upgrade for me. It is a damage upgrade for you. And also all the flies that dare to fly under the banner of this run. I don't know where that came from. This could not be a secret room, so let's let's just get the heck out of town. Am I a fool? No, I'm a smart genius. Down to the next floor. So we do have a deal with the devil precedent. I don't mind. Money equals power was, was worth it. IMO. Which stands for in my honest. Might as well take a, take a peek. Hate this curse, man. This curse is low in the power rank. Well, actually, it's probably mid in the power rankings, to be honest. Love seeing the money. I think this one has what it takes now. Just to be straight up. And, like, the, the thing is, I feel like this is the kind of run where it's like an Olympic power lift. You know? The the hardest part of it is the start. Once you can generate... Oh, uh, yeah, you probably would like to get me out of there. Um, get me out. Okay, hold on. I got, I got plays here. So I got myself in a little bucket of syrup, but check this out. Saved. Thanks for the spirit hearts. Suck them. <laughs> Phrasing. Um... But anyway, um, not a secret room. Good to know. You know, the, the hard part is generating the lift to begin with. Not to say that it's easy to hold, but I think that's the, the truly spicy part. The rest of it is, you know, more like maintenance. This run should continue to get stronger over time. Um, I definitely think that, that Gimpy's worth picking up. And I will admit my folly that I just don't... I, th I think those are like black hole tears. Because of our... Oh, that's so good. Because, you know what? As a result of your niceness there, I will uh, I will pick it up. I'm not worried about our HP. You know, in theory, we should get there. Gimpy gave us a, a spirit heart on the curse room, by the way. I don't think we can get back in there for free, unfortunately. Um... But yeah, I, the, the Relic should keep us hooked up, and dude, the, the health ups are... Con considering how insulted I was, like, a couple of floors ago, things are, are really coming together now. I, I wish that I had gotten that penny, but let's try not to stress out too much over literally 0 .04 damage in one cent. This is really looking pretty solid. No thank you, sir. We don't forget the knife piece either. This run, I, I didn't know that it would ever get there, but this run actually looks really, really, really strong. And I gotta admit as well, Dad's key is doing some mighty nice work. Dude, you love it. You just love to see it. There may come a point where we start to suck up the tears upgrades. That point is not anytime in the very near future. We still want to go to our shops. Judgment? Dude. I think this is a second secret room. So I use the bomb. Oh my god, dude. It's it's we're we're heading into the stratosphere. You gotta use dad's key to open the alt path. Oh, do you see the money down there? You gotta use dad's key to open the alt path. Because it, it saves you two spirit hearts. It's worth way more than a bomb, it's worth way more than a key. This is now actually, and I, I didn't think this was going to happen, possibly going to be one of the strongest runs we've ever had. And has actually, like, revitalized my interest in the character, whom I mistakenly thought was actually, like, pure trash when I streamed it. And now that I got something going, I'm like, uh, actually, my mistake, they're kind of amazing. Um, so, I mean, this is, like... Might as well use that right off the bat. I didn't give up HP there, did I? I don't think so. Um, 
Oh my word. I'm going to level with you as well. I'm going to suck that item up. Um, no, no, I'm not. You know why? I think the luck will pay dividends in the drops that it gives us. Okay. Um, well, you know what? For seven cents, like, we do lose some damage in the process here. I, I, hold on. Just seven cents, you get a trinket. The trinket is actually... I don't know. <laughs> but then we're going to suck up the item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That, it, it, we get a fly out of that, so that's I think it's worth it. I'm starting to, you know, get a little, little silly here. I don't know. The run's looking great. I think this is one of... Okay. This is one of the rare times that we're probably scaling faster than, like, the mausoleum can deal with. Which is where things tend to get really tough. Um, I, I'm having a wonderful time. I think this is... It, it, my love for Isaac has always been in a good spot. Um, well, let's not say always. <laughs> it's a little revisionist history of, like, the two years uh, of the grind when um, we were waiting for Repentance to come out and, and every run gave you exclusively, like, you know, Kidney Stone and was like, lol, you died. I didn't get hit somehow. How about that? Um, but this run has, has sent me... Uh, into a, a new level of infatuation. That's how committed I am right there. I guess it, we, we technically don't have money equals power while we're in this... Uh, in this realm, so... Didn't get anything out of that, but that's, that's fine. But the, I'm, the, the sheer variety that comes from like all these different... Uh, what are you doing? That comes from these different play styles as a result of the tainted characters is like, is is kind of incredible. They did an amazing job, and I'm not just saying that because we're winning, but it doesn't hurt. Certainly doesn't hurt. Okay, this is the this is the dunk of the century. I'm probably stupid. Like, I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do it. It's the way I got it done, though. Okay, how many times are you going to get hit on this one room, dude? Don't answer that. Oh, my God. And I'm... It, it, it. Hello, live stream fail. It's time for some disorganized fun. Okay, Ronald Jenkins. Don't forget, you're going down to the path that is known as the alternate path. Go down, not to the normal path. Which means we won't be able to fight Mega Satan. But I, I do think with Angel deals more frequent now, or at least easier to create, um, you're, you're going to be happier that you're doing the alt path instead of doing the Mega Satan path. On a run that's amazing, at least. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Like, why why, why stress, I guess, is what I should be saying. Instead of being like, this is the optimum, should be saying, like, who cares? Thank you, Gimpy. Let's just... I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and say that we only got that because of the luck upgrade we chose not to suck up last time. Feeling mighty smart right now. Thanks for the damage. Anytime you can get to 10 damage, which is, like, right on the horizon here, like... You know you're in a gray spot. One of the things this run could really use, actually, and it's a ooh, <laughs> it's a big ask. I'm not gonna deny it. You know, it's it's not a minor thing. Um, but getting uh, like the ability to fly would would be maybe the next enormous thing that I would look to as as a huge improvement. Um, and oh my god, the luck as well. <laughs> He's gaming. Confirmed. Gamers Anonymous? No, Gamers freaking eponymous, man. That's a, a $10 word used incorrectly. That's okay. 
I would like to be free from this prison. Okay. That sucked. Thank Dude, though, I forgot the flies are like, um, basically spectral tears. Save the bomb for now. That's going to be a second secret room. Uh, yeah, probably like for me personally, I would have recommend getting the golden key first, but maybe that's just me. Okay, so just being straight up, like, I don't know what you do. But I got such damage potential that I have the luxury, I think, of not having to really know what you do, except for those weird brimstone shots you're going to do, like, right... Uh, no, these are not... These are the compass shots. Oh, okay, dude, easiest choice of my life. Um, if you'll excuse me, let's... There's a real temptation to put a bomb down there, but... I don't think we will lose this run. I, I, I would almost take it a step further and say I, I don't think we can lose this run. This is not the right time for the Eddie room. Um, I mean, I think if we played really badly, we could, but we actually are, are really insulated. Like, there's... I think there's a pretty low skill ceiling on this run right here. Um, by which I essentially... <laughs> um, don't take that, though. By which I essentially just mean, like... That I, I think even if we dodge badly, items like black hole tears just give you like an amazing ability to sustain yourself in spite of that. So we'll definitely play the Demon Judgment. I, I don't really have an interest in... That gives you a permanent familiar, dude. That's not amazing, but considering that it was for the cost of nothing, <laughs> uh, it's pretty sick. So th th there is a right way and a wrong way to use the Emperor card. We're not going to leave. I just wanted to use it, I guess. Um, the right way to use the Emperor card is on the Corpse 1. Or the Corpse 2, for that matter. But probably the Corpse 1, so that you can take another card into the Corpse 2. Keep in mind, we still got an item room awaiting us here. I mean, this this is awesome. I know I may have said that 17 times already, but it really is, though. This Demon Judgment is probably also going to pay out. I don't mind. Go ahead. Hit me a little bit. Might as well crack it open. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Gimpy, thank you. Um, pretty simple. Again, even if we only get the one fly, you know, I know I was mad about it the first time. I think I've gotten over it. Mostly, you know, like, a run being great solves a lot of problems, I guess is what I would say. You don't get so, uh... You don't get so annoyed when things are going well. When things are going badly, it's a conspiracy against you. When everything's going well, you're like, Oh, a car just hit me. It looks like I'm gonna be a little late for work, but that's okay. Oh, you know, that, maybe that's not... That's probably not the case. I was just trying to always look on the bright side of life. do 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 Anyway, I can't pick that up. How am I doing? Thank you for asking. It's a Saturday. It's a, it's a nice day outside right now. Just needed to gas up the backlog a little bit. Baby's doing well. Thank you for hypothetically asking. She's babbling. She's flipping. She is teething. Um, and also, I think, like, you may not know unless you've been through it yourself, but uh, baby's around her age uh they start to deal with separation anxiety which is a real like one two punch so like we put her to bed and then she uh starts to teeth so she wakes up and then she's like mommy and daddy aren't here so she's extremely displeased um so when i said she's doing well that was not a lie but perhaps a, a misstatement um but either way like She's, she's not doing badly. She's she's living life. Something everybody has gone through at some point, I suppose. So I, th this is just pure laziness. I'm, I'm willing to tell you, but... Look at that. No nothing lazy about that. We should not be giving you so many spirit hearts, but... um, do, th Here's the problem, okay? I'm going to suck it up with the Black Rune to try to get some stats, but I don't want to lose the Emperor card. 
So that gave us tears and speed, both of which, quite frankly, you know, I don't say no to. I don't say no to those. We'll head down to the next floor. We don't Emperor card right away. We want to have the entire floor, if possible, to generate as many, uh, as many Spirit Hearts as we can. Let's see. Let's see. I got nothing to complain about, though. That's what I'll tell you. <laughs> Dude, I can do this room. I don't want to, though. I could work overtime. I could work in a mine. I could do it all for you. But I don't want to. Words to live by. Bare Naked Ladies track 2 off of their 1993 album Gordon. Track is called Enid. The first Canadian ska song. Hey, hey, hey. You're, oh, you're still alive. Oh, now you're dead. Too bad you will die. So, dude, I gotta be honest. Like, Little Chad's not that bad. But is he as good as... Uh, Getting a sick money equals power fly? I'm gonna say no. Now, I do, and this happens all the time. I find myself, like, modestly apprehensive. I'm like, maybe this run is a little worse than I was giving it credit for, but I really don't think that's the case. I, I think, you know, and, and you, you might be like, why would you ever spend money on this? Broken Modem is actually, like, game winning, so that's an easy one. But I will probably, I mean, look, it already gave us three cents in return. It only cost us freaking seven, man. But I'll probably also buy um, the boomerang just to suck it up. If, if we have enough charges, okay. I'm, I'm really, I'm taking a lot of dumb damage. Like, we're, we're hemorrhaging HP that we shouldn't be hemorrhaging, but. I do believe in the methodology. I trust the process. I don't trust... Uh, you know, we... Don't ever speak of this moment to me. I've resolved this is the last time I'm going to embarrass myself like that. You hear me? This is the last time. Do you hear me? It's the last time it's going to happen. Now, again, you might say, NL, this is like... Why? Like, why do this? Just to get, I was going to say, just to get HP that you're going to get rid of anyway. Well, because, okay, for all that I lost there, let's, let's get it back here. But with the chance for Gimpy to pay out as well. Okay, it didn't quite work out, but this is, you got to work on these engines, man. These are the engines you work on. Custom kitchen delivery, yay, yay. I have it on good authority. You have to move these refrigerators. You gotta move these color TVs. Now we have a, a purpose. I don't want to leave my Emperor card in the middle of that pit, though. So I, I'll admit I've gotten a little lackadaisical. Some might even suggest a little lazy. It's it's weird because it's not really laziness. If if anything, I've been doing rooms that I wouldn't otherwise do um, in order to make mistakes. It's like active mistake making. It's a very interesting combination. I I have been hit. I'm just going to level with you. I don't really know what you do. When I come down to this uh, part of the game, many enemies, I either kill them instantly because my run is insanely overpowered or I'll, uh, yeah, we already used it there. Or alternatively, I just die before I can suss out what your patterns do. Dude, the flies are actually freaking crushing here. Um, we did get another item. Another suckable item here. Or the ability to suck another item. Give me some red hearts, please. Thank you. I think I'm going to cut my losses. And I'm going to accept that, you know... We probably shouldn't go any further down this road. Um, and we can't get those without getting on spikes, unfortunately. So I think I think the time has come for us to fight Mausoleum Mom. This is going to suck really badly. And then after that, it's hopefully going to be fine. <laughs> Look at the damage, though, dude. Suffice it to say... I Actually, that did not suck at all. Um, suffice it to say my plan of um, getting a lot of spirit hearts here failed pretty miserably. 
we got to pay for it. I mean, I, I, I genuinely think the ability to fly... You know how much damage I take to creep? Like, it's embarrassing. And then... Take the negative for the damage. Why not, right? We're going to fight Mom's Heart immediately. Maybe we could have, uh, you know, sucked that up and made two flies, but I don't want to. Because it's damage, dude. Damage is legit. Now... I know I said, you know, we, we still, I think, use the, the Emperor card right away. But it's not for much of a purpose, except just getting the item as soon as possible. Because um, we still want to generate as many Spirit Hearts as we can. And if we think we're stronger than the floor, then we should bet on ourselves to do better. Get, get a bunch of Spirit Hearts from the Relic, and then, you know, hopefully beat the boss on the strength of that. That's pretty bad. That's also not particularly good. Speed is doing just fine. Um, it's a situation to level with you. We probably do want to um, play the, the fortune teller. Losing a little bit of damage. Let me put it this way, okay? Even if we lose half of our money equals power bonus, which is not even half of our damage, it's just half of the damage associated exclusively with money equals power. But even if we lose half of our damage bonus from money equals power, but we double our HP, which is pretty reasonable, I'd say, we have doubled our damage output. Or, well, not, no, that's not true. But we have, we've raised our damage output. That much is true for certain. Thank you for the spirit heart. We are hoping maybe at some point, like, Broken Modem hits the, the spirit heart here. We may not need to play the, the fortune teller, though. So let's... Let's rely on that being a, a possibility. I mean, because as you can see for yourself, this run is actually, like... Just incredibly strong, and... I was mostly taking damage because I'm a fool. Let me... Let me tell you, I'm very, very, very stoked we took, uh... Lord of the Pit. That hurts, by the way, but... Very, very, very stoked. Dude, a health upgrade, absolutely. Thank you, that's a little harder to take away from us, too. Easy room. This will not be secret rooms. That, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. This obviously also cannot be secret rooms. Please do not talk to me. I don't know if I've ever made a better decision than taking the ability to fly. <laughs> it, it's actually like... It's transformed my ability to, to survive on this floor. Were it not for that, we would be... We'd be in a horrible place right now. You know how much damage we would have taken on these trap rooms just to preserve two red hearts, man? Oh my god. Oh, you're yeah, on the corners, on the corners, runners on the corners, full count. Thank you. Now we do have to do the entirety of the next floor, but I've you know what? I've, I'm recontextualizing it in my brain. We don't have to do the entirety of the next floor. We get to do the entirety of the next floor. We were getting into a somewhat spicy spot, and then you know now everything looks fantastic here. One more relic for the road, please. No? Okay, that's fine. That's fine, man. I can't believe I didn't find a secret room. I mean, I kind of just hit the button willy-nilly. Let's be realistic, but still, I'm a little little surprised. Not there either. Huh? Are there secret rooms down here? There must be, right? Like right here, for example. Oh, uh, Tinted Rock. I'm a genius. I'm a fool. I'm a genius. Confirmed. You always nice to finish on genius there, and I'm just gonna be real with you. I don't think we need to um, go through with the the fortune teller anymore. I think it would actually maybe hurt us, even though I thought I was so smart for coming up with how it obviously would help us no matter what. This should be it. This should be it. Great run, and honestly, uh, uh, not just a great run, but a fun character. It helps when you get, you know, great items, don't get me wrong. Like, I... <laughs> the, the, the first time we played this character is gonna come to uh, YouTube, like, eventually, right? Um, 
Just chilling. You'll see. I, I, I probably made some major mistakes on the run, but also, like... There's a stark difference in quality. Let's put it that way. Big ups to money equals power for the help. Big ups to a lot of items for the help here. And big ups to Dad's key, man. Which, ironically, we took to help us fight Mega Satan. And then that ended up not being in the cards. But uh, even better. Like, th this is better if it works. So the, the thing we should do is just don't get too cocky. Obviously, we have, you know, Broken Modem... Obviously, we have the black hole tiers. These are like really good defensive items. Obviously, our offense is like under control. Um, so, you know, maybe we could get too cocky, but I, I would probably call it now. <laughs> Turns out I think everything's going to be completely fine. What, what is this? Oh, yeah, you, you, you spin around. I really thought we would flawless. Life goes on. We got Gimpy, dude. The more the more I get hit, the more you're getting hit. Great dodges. Okay, you're, you've closed in on me. I should not be standing there. Taking some seriously stupid damage here. Thank you, Broken Modem. Remember when I said I was going to flawless this? I still think you're like a second away from death. Yeah, so I'm not sweating it too much. Great run. Always nice to knock out one of those uh, one of those difficult ones. Apollyon's best friend has been unlocked, and the posted note gets a little nicer. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. Twitch.tv uh, slash Northern Lion as well for uh, streams, and I'll see you next time. See ya.